Welcome to our RESTful Cloud, everyone. So happy you could join us. Today we're exploring the Orchestrator Studio to look at the connector service. The connector service can access external databases, orchestrations, REST APIs, and also FTP. We're going to show you the file transfer protocol FTP and how it can be used to create a sales order in JDE with data coming from outside a JDE system. Most people are familiar with FTP. It's a protocol to transfer data between two systems. If we have an Excel file, we can create an orchestration to use FTP to grab the data and insert it into Enterprise One. Here's the example we're going to use. To create a sales order, this is the minimum data required by JDE. Four fields, business unit, customer number, quantity, and item number. Let's say you have 100 or 50 or maybe 100 salespeople emailing in their orders on Excel files. The data entry people have to enter this manually. Instead of doing that, we want to load these orders without ever logging into JDE. All the salespeople have to do is put the Excel file into the FTP pickup location and the orchestration will run at a scheduled time to pick up the files and process the orders into JDE. Here are the high level steps required. Create the form service request using process recorder. Create the FTP connector. Create the connector service request create the orchestration, and then test the orchestration. If testing goes okay, then you can move it to PY and eventually into production. This guy goes to a much deeper level to help you configure the connector and also understand not just the JDE part, but the other parts as well, and how they really fit and work together. It shows you how to create an FTP to feed the JDE system. It shows all the steps required to make this work, which brings us to the testing section of the guide. Here you see a picture of the final orchestration we've created, which we're going to test now. Before that, let's go to our FTP location and open the Excel file to see the data that will create the order. We have M30 for the business unit and the customer 4242 and the quantity and the item number. So log into Orchestrator Studio and then click the start button and then click run. And here we see the three sales orders have been created for customer 4242 from the Excel data received through the FTP connector. Go to P4210 to verify. Enter the date in the QBE, then click to see all the orders for this date. And we do indeed see the orders 3337, 3338, and 3339, which are the order numbers presented from the orchestration. This is just one example to demonstrate how the connector service works. So use your imagination and get creative. Look for ways to automate and use Orchestrator Studio to the max. You can make a name for yourself within your company using this incredible new tool. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll be showing you how to do our system health check based on our connector service using REST APIs. We show you how it works and how to set it up in Orchestrator Studio. Each new feature is being added to the Orchestrator Studio Complete Reference Guide. If you already own this guide, you'll see these being added over time. And if you don't own this guide yet, you and your company are falling behind the competition. To purchase the guide, email us at info at restfulclouds.com. It sells for $499 USD and includes three free service calls of up to one hour each. Our guides don't cost, they pay for themselves many times over. Get yours today. That's all for now. Bye bye.